Um, all right, we're going to do, in a couple of minutes, we are going to do a little bit Game of Thrones talk, which we have never done on this show. Thank you God. You will literally inaugurate. Well, I, Matt doesn't watch it. I stopped watching it for a really long time, and I guess this means we're going to talk about it now. We'll get to buy it in a few minutes. Griscom, you watch it? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, because this is like... And, oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You're going to take over in a second, but spoilers. And don't fucking tweet at me, and don't bitch. Yeah. Spoilers, yeah. spoilers, <laughs> spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Spoilers. Okay, Emma, please. Well, I just, I feel that my voice is sorely lacking on the TYT Game of Thrones reviews as someone who <laughs> knows a lot about the series. I mean, I'm like a dorks, right? Wait, are so you a book reader as I well? I, I have dabbled in the first book. Um, mm. uh, my significant other is a, is a really big book reader and someone who's been very critical of the show and has gotten me to be very critical of the show because... You know, it's so, when I'm watching it, right, I feel this sugar high and it's this event and we're all sitting down and we all, you know, whatever, hanging out watching. And then I think about it like two hours later and I'm like, that didn't make any sense. You know, the long night episode I thought was terrible. Was that one a couple episodes ago? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So, all right, guys, okay. have it out. But did you have it? How did you? Did it, was it because so, you couldn't see it or? Well, no, no, no. I mean, the visuals are phenomenal, right? But. First of all, she can see. I can. Just, just well, be, no, yeah, it, just it was really dark. So it a lot was. of people who have like bad setups couldn't see anything in the yeah. episode, and they complained about it. Oh, really? Okay. But for me, it, it the show I thought, or the story I thought, was always about how these political squabbles were all ignoring the larger problem, which is like this kind of climate change allegory. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't need to be read as that, but humanity in general, death, whatever, beyond the wall. And to make that in the third episode, and not only, you know, th this was supposed to be this unstoppable army, characters only with very neat arcs died there. There was no shocking death. I loved when John left Sam behind and then went off to try to get the Night King, but there, there was no fo follow through on that. Sam should have died right there. There was a lot of hero shielding. And then also Arya... Hero shielding. I've never heard this no, phrase sorry, before. Sorry, uh, plot armoring. Wow. Um, plot armor. No, hero oh, shielding sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> you should have just... Yeah, I no. have no idea. I just felt that also what was John brought back for? I mean, maybe we'll find out if he kills Daenerys next time. Oh, he's going to need to clip I think, her. I understand he's going to need to take that equation yeah. out. I understand what you mean yeah. about them being a little cowardly. Um, and, you know, they just sort of, the only big death really was like the Dothraki. And that was, you know. But that very, was pathetic. And, yeah, it was absolutely pathetic. All right, guys, guys. But wait, remember, just, we're going to keep, keep yeah. it a little general. Yeah, sorry, sorry. But this general, the one general. thing about that episode, and it might have <laughs> been the one before, that did get me a little frustrated. <laughs> Matt's going to go nibble an edible they in the introduced, bathroom. They introduced <laughs> racism yeah for no reason in that show and that really i felt like it's a very weird move right because it's like like you know, the way the northerners were yeah there's like this northern people and they're all white you know right. and then there's just people from this other continent who are black and the northerners were all just like in a, you know there's no reason for it but just like really racist towards them and i felt that was a weird thing to sort Isn't of that part of the realism the of the show i think it was also part of like the it's the northern culture so they've always been mistrustful of outsiders even if it's the the people beyond the wall as well so oh, I, I shit David sorry oh, shit. No, 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 but, but you're coming up against the, the last book reader motherfucker the last episode <laughs> the last episode just to like we'll keep it short and sweet we were just chatting about no, keep them. those tweets up the, sorry yeah the fan okay. reaction yeah. I mean I I thought that I, I was devastated like you know I'm a I'm a woman I saw myself in Daenerys I think that actress I mean she got made fun of a lot but I'm still really. I'm still thinking about. She got made fun of. Yeah, because like again, on. I so I'll, I'll say I I think a couple seasons ago I stopped watching the show because there was I think it I don't even remember what it was, but it was something that was like so gross to watch that I felt like giving the show the finger back. Right. And I was just like, you know what? I don't need like fuck you. <laughs> but now this season, I'm like, I just don't like I don't care about this or that person. I just kind of want to know how it settles. Yes. So I'm not. But I always thought. Like, why do people make fun of her is what I'm trying to ask. I thought she did fine. Can you tell me? I mean, there's a lot of melodramatic acting on that show in general, but it, that's the thing is it's still, I mean, that's why I can never take it so seriously. I mean, people are like, this is like The Sopranos. It's like, yeah, there's still like Lord Suck Me or whatever and dragons <laughs> and like, come on, this, yeah. let's be serious. Oh, this is but it's not, earned. I mean, I, yes. as someone who loves politics, I mean, the later seasons have abandoned this altogether, but the political intrigue of the I early I thought it was episode, really good. I it's total well stand out in the first couple of seasons. I agree. 
But I, anyways, she wasn't bad. No, no. so I thought the yeah. moment where she shudders atop Drogon before she, you know, takes a torch to King's Landing was just like, it got, it got chills up my spine. So thinking mm-hmm. about it, I think that the problem people, ha- and so anyway, I'm devastated by the way her character has gone and she's got to die next episode. But, you know, because they, it, it could have been earned, but they rushed it because they're trying to get the series done and they want to do Star Wars movies, these creators. And they don't That's have... That's what they want to do. That they're signed up for these next Star Wars movies. George R. R. Martin wanted them to do four more longer seasons and they said, no, we're going to do two short seasons. Yeah. And it shows. I mean, you could feel how rushed it is. You yeah. Know, I absolutely agree. But I don't know. I just, like, my whole reaction to this, like, freak out, which we should put the tweets up in a second, but... And then we, these tweets will take us into uh, Emma wants to dunk on white feminism. <laughs> But it's just like, I, it's just surprising to me that everyone's so worked up about, look, it's been a show that from the very beginning, people who want power are always going to be dangerous. Right. People go. who don't care Here about power Preach it. might be better, but they're going to get killed by the people who want power. Lula right. And is it surprising that at the end of the show that one of the characters we've watched from the very beginning who has wanted power has now turned out to be bad. I don't know. Exactly. It just goes with the entire and premise also, of the and show. clearly Her. had like a religious, like a, like a, like an extraordinarily dangerous entitlement, which is, yeah, and no, not the and, point and, of the show. And even more tragically, no family, no roots, no, knowing nothing except the quest for power her entire life. She had internalized this as her identity because, you know, she was ripped from her family as a young person, only knew her brother who abused her. And, <laughs> and then now all of her advisors have died or betrayed her or whatever. And so the trigger was too quick, but I think the devolution d- makes sense. And it's like, Arguably, in my view, the greatest tragedy of the show um, is like what happened to a character who has these instincts and, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I feel like she kind of personifies that. So so we don't know whether these tweets were done and they might have been in a a dummy account of yours, Emma. (laughs) 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 For your so and maybe we should I guess let's try to keep her name out of it because they're I guess it's hard because she deleted them and. They're ridiculous, but well, whatever. She deleted them, so let's try to not make it a thing. This is an actual tweet. And I have to say, I'm again, I'm gonna do old man shit here and really be like, if anything besides like a potential invasion of Iran is upsetting you this much, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but so, you're more <laughs> aloof than me. I was cr- I cried twice on Monday. All right, thinking I mean, about the show. Okay. Literally. <laughs> literally? If you think that after a decade of Danny learning how to be a leader and how to rule and how to have compassion for people, that this is a natural story arc, you are a simple-minded twat waffle who can't be trusted to have good opinions about storytelling. That's the uh, John. This is going in so hard. That's the John Oliver school of comedy, that twat waffle. Oh, well, well. if if you cannot be trusted, if you think John Oliver is funny, you can't be trusted to do comedy. Uh, Gotta be, oh wait, okay. Um, I'm so fucking mad right now. Game of Thrones has been a waste of my life. <laughs> Gotta be white guys ultimately after uh, the day after years of woman Bro. killing it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. By the way, she's also wrong because I could tell you pretty confidently knowing very little that I see. Look, I think the big galaxy brain point of the show would be to do some type of like, hey, all of the people who the wild people are right and this is all bullshit. But within the context of like the game, like Sansa is going to end up on top somehow. She's the best. There's going to be no throne. It's there's going to be r- some sort of council. Yeah, That's what I think. and she's going to be really important. So even that is like. And but it's anyways, also like right. I'm literally crying right now because a decade of my life <laughs> has been wasted on a show ultimately created by the white male viewpoint. I mean, that's watching uh, television. Yeah. So uh, well, I'd also just say like your whole life should not be invested in a TV show. <laughs> Sorry. And the most important hero of this entire season has been Arya. Like, you know, like the storyline right. right. has not been actually like any return to male dominance or anything like that. In fact, Jon Snow looked absolutely pathetic for the past, for the entire yeah. season so far. Well, his aunt's trying to fuck him all the time. Maybe you give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my white male viewpoint. I know. Uh, I'm yeah. choking on your white male. <laughs> That's so gross. Um, the, I saw one yeah. mashup. Uh, I don't know. You guys got, don't move off the uh, the dragon talk. You should go to T. T had some good ones uh, about. Okay, um, we'll go to T. But wait. So do you think? Wait, but oh, don't man. you think that there were a couple of moments early on, if I remember them, that like it's not like it came out of nowhere. 
Oh my god, no. Again, it, she her arc was like, she was at like 70% way through the arc, and then they just like <laughs> did it. They write. Because they want to finish the show. But I could have, you could have foreseen this coming if you were someone who paid attention. She was someone who was excited by the idea of fire. She enjoyed it burning people i mean it for but it always seemed to have a strategic purpose they could have shown more of a devolution of like it not having a strategic purpose anymore but again these women who are trying to make this more than this is first of all it's not a feminist view viewpoint to completely exclude women from the corrupting influence of power the show was had so many feminist moments, despite how you think it ended. It was revolutionary in that way. The arcs of Sansa and Arya are beautiful for feminism and for women. And I think the show is way bigger than your myopic view of how things should be. This was never like a Hillary Clinton bumper sticker. I'm sorry. You <laughs> no. know? Does this hurt Elizabeth Warren that she wrote some <laughs> painful, embarrassing blog post about wanting, like, we need more lead. I got to get Elizabeth Warren. So, but, you know, Danny just said she's tired of it. If you don't want bankruptcy reform, we're going to burn the whole motherfucking city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm tired of being called the Al Gore of women. I saw so And if so I'm called many... that again, I'm going to set off a nuke. I saw Time's so where... many, like, oh, she's called the Al Gore of women? No. Okay. I just coined that. That's Michael's. Well, she, she has, to me, she is very analogous to Al Gore. Yeah. She's really smart. She has really good policy ideas. I mean, she's better. She's more progressive right. than he is. But they also have, like, they're, they are like the classic, because a lot of politicians, I do think that people are like, hey, they're substance, but they don't, like, they're not that charismatic. It's like, no, most of them actually really just sort of suck in both ways. Like, mm -hmm. they both don't have substance. They don't have it. But, like... Gordon Brown, Elizabeth Warren, and Al Gore, you can all kind of make the case that like, yes, they don't necessarily have like classical political skills, but they are, you know, incredibly intelligent, capable leaders, right? Right, right. yeah. Yeah. So. No, I think that's a good, yeah, I mean, I, I'm i so sick of these white feminists and I can say it because I'm a white woman, right? <laughs> yes. I mean. Go off. Go off, queen. Can, we can agree. Truly, <laughs> queen with a K. <laughs> And a W. Could you, yeah. 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 Slay. <laughs> yeah. This was hilarious. Are you going to play this? Wait, go yeah. off for a second first. Then no, we'll play. I, well, just, I think this sums it up, actually. True, this sums it up, but just I'll just add this one thing. There was not a, a black woman or a, a minority woman on the planet who was bothered or who saw this as some sort of persecution against them because they faced actual Don't persecution. Don't you think that they actually really appreciated how angry Daenerys was on their behalf? <laughs> Perhaps. Because if they didn't kill her friend, she wouldn't have had an opportunity to show what an ally and, and, she and, was. And interestingly, <laughs> that these women didn't have a problem with some of the actual problematic elements of Daenerys being kind of a white savior and yeah. freeing all these brown people. Yeah, I, Now she's pissed off. I will say, so someone who does not necessarily always have the woke takes, I found that to be pretty weird. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> you mean like this like Aryan ad for like yeah. the like for like like getting air in the Alps before restoring your master race is going and literally the only people who have pigmentation on this show are getting freed by her? Even I yeah, was it, like this hmm. is bringing out some of my freshman year it's, shit. It's not quite doesn't look so good. It's not quite at the level of the goblins in Harry Potter. The goblin, <laughs> the goblin bankers. Yeah. Well, that was just sort of some good old chummy anti-Semitism. I, I heard Ilan Omar wrote the goblins into the story. She ghost wrote those parts. And then like, and Rashida Tlaib played all of them. I I'll, I get into a fucking goblin and then Harry outfit. Goes, <laughs> Harry goes to Gringotts and there's these little guys uh, with hooked noses. It's like, the, I have an idea. What if all of the bankers are short men with crooked, disgusting noses, <laughs> and they live in the gold vaults. I wonder who that's like. And then they hypnotize Harry into supporting their plans. <laughs> so we've got a mashup that okay. sort of, I think, uh, captures this white feminism, Daenerys. That's how you pronounce the name, right? Daenerys. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to like duck the sound a little bit because he uses a, uh, a popular song to go with it, but uh, you'll get the picture. I hope this guy's being ironic. Yes. Okay. Driving Miss Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Driving Miss Sunday. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a very good line. Is this going to be Katy this Perry? Is my yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get digged. I, I think that my colleague, Ken Klippenstein, told him to put, or like said something. <laughs> this is this is definitely Clinton 2016 right yeah. here. That, I remember when you really got into like the dregs of that primary and people were like, oh, she can't be friends with Henry Kissinger because she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. She can't support covering up the hunters murdering children because she's a woman. Well, this is a good transition, actually, because I mean, I'm taking over the podcast, obviously. Well, that's what you're here for. Yeah. Um, so until you have a turn where you get Koch brothers' money for the show, and then I burn and corrupt the everyone. whole thing, and you burn everybody um, indiscriminately. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time, and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS, or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.